So yeah. you create your character and you start with your gender, your skin color, your eye color, your hair color, your haircut, uh, facial features and so on. And once you're done with, uh, with that, uh, now we see that Gail uh, went ahead with uh, the sweet lady. Um, you go ahead and choose whatever you want to wear. So accessories, clothing, backpacks, ghillie suits, uh, camo, the color of what you want to wear, your, your gear, your hats, your eyewear, all of that. So once you're, you're satisfied with what you want to do, and if you don't feel inspired, well, there's also templates or, or pre-selection or presets that you can um, use to create your character. Okay, cool. Well, you, can, you get quite a, yeah, a lot of options here. I'd say millions and millions. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So you can really create your own ghost. Yeah, yeah basically. Cool. It's you. Well, I think this lady is quite badass the way she yeah. is. I think All we right. can start Should with we go? her. Awesome. Oh, you can choose your difficulty. Yes. Should we go for ghost? Might oh. be a little hot. No, oh. Not this time. <laughs> Come on. Let's start with the elite for this stream. All right. And here at go. home, you will be able to try the ghost tomorrow. But what's going on if I want to play in the ghost mode then? Well, the difficulties essentially determine how sensitive the enemies are in reaction mm. to you. So they're going to spot you easier. They're going to be able to shoot at you uh, with more accuracy. So these are things that you want to consider before <laughs> picking your difficulty. It might be a little <laughs> overwhelming at the beginning. With. But if I want to play like really hardcore mode, can I, for instance, so choose the difficulty, the ghost difficulty mode, and then like remove the HUD, the Yes, can you I can go that? in the options and you can disable all the user interface. So you'll get no mini maps, no ammo count, no uh, marking of enemies or anything like that. Yeah. So it's Play like bare bones, super field. hardcore. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Like a real ghost, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's it. Okay, so it right. seems that we landed. So where are we? <sighs> can we go? Yeah, oh. We're in Itaqua. Itaqua is a, the province that is the cradle of the rebellion. I love this landscape. Yeah. It's beautiful. Everything you see, you can visit. So, cool. as far as the eye can see, is, is all stuff that you can go and, and uh, explore. Um, it, so, Itaqua is um, home of the, the rebellion. And you get to meet uh, Pakatari, not Tupac, but uh, <laughs> Pakatari, the uh, leader of the rebels. And essentially, what he does is that he asks you to find and rescue Amaru one of the founders of the rebellion and uh, he's been captured by the cartel so this is your I mean this is the mission that we chose to 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 show today but mm. you can choose whatever mission you want to do in w any which order you want to do it too okay so if I wanted to go directly in the opposite direction no problem up to you yeah but Kay. here so we are going to play uh, the Amaru rescue mission so because okay, during the close beta actually you will be playing the province of Itaqua and so this is this, this is where we are at the moment yes uh, so so should we hop on a vehicle then yeah let's go all right see let's how go fast it is so I go mean, for it yeah. vehicles are gonna be good we see a pickup truck here yeah. but uh, there's over 60 types of vehicles that you can uh, select and drive um, ranging from the dirt bike to the pickup truck, to the tank, for land vehicles, but also you have air vehicles, helicopters, airplanes, and you also have water vehicles, boats. Um, and another way of traveling in the uh, in the world is uh, the parachute. So you can either, you know, airdrop from uh, a flying helicopter or an airplane, or you can also base jump from a high uh, position and open and pop your chute to uh, to land uh, lower. Um, so it seems that Gael is playing solo now, so he has his three AI teammates with him. Yes, um, the AI teammates are going to assist you in anything you're doing. So for example, if you'd be uh, close to enemies while driving, you can, uh, you can order them to start shooting to assist you in what you're trying to do. Mm. Um, but also on the ground, and as we'll see soon when we get to uh, the, uh, the first the first part of the mission where you're trying to locate a lieutenant who's going to give you information as to the location of Amaru. Um, you'll see that your teammates are pretty useful in helping you uh, take down the enemies. Yeah, we, we may be able to see some uh, orders given to the teammates. Yes, you'll find that there's, a, there's an order wheel uh, that you access um, to, to uh, command your, 
you can. Yeah, this so you can really prepare your approach with the with the AI. Yes, like big with friends, but you give orders and everything. Exactly, but you can also use the order wheel with friends and playing co-op okay. to identify some spots where you would like people to, to go to, to rally to, or you can also uh, ask them to hold or to regroup. All of these things are also available with co-op, but you can't force your teammates. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Real people, but it's but an additional yeah. communication tool. Uh, yes. So it seems that we are approaching the first location yes. to get some intel about Amaru's location. Yeah, and we, we get a tutorial here. Uh, tutorials are always displayed in three panels like this, and they essentially help you uh, figure out what you can do with the tools that are proposed mm -hmm. or the situation you're confronted with. Uh, at this point, you see that you can use your binoculars, you can use your drone, and you can use uh, these tools to, uh, you can also use the aiming to mark the enemies. Yeah, um, so this is basically the recon thing of exactly, Ghost Recon. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ghost Recon, All it's right, the recon so part. Let's get rid of this guy, maybe. Okay, so here we can see that it's changed his position. You can aim with first person, but also third person. Yes, you can play it in, well, you can aim in FPS, first person. You can also play in third person like this. And there's also the over-the-shoulder camera that's really appreciated by the players, where you can do the shoulder swap to optimize your view. Um, another thing uh, that we can mention here, perhaps, is that Gael seems to have picked the stealth approach, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is clever for this mission, especially because if you spook the lieutenant, then he's going to run away and you might lose your information. So um, the drone here is going to be very good uh, for us to assess the situation and to analyze the setup of the camp, see where the enemies are, but also to see where they could escape, where mm -hmm. you can hide. Um, and how you could approach it to, to, uh, mm. to better succeed. So we see the order wheel here. And at the bottom, you also saw the order uh, or the command for the rebel ops, which we'll cover later. Kay. But um, so, yeah, your, uh, your drone is something that uh, is, is one of your tools that you can upgrade along with the game, along uh, upgrade the range, upgrade uh, the battery life so you can use it uh, with more efficiency. Okay, so, so there is a little mark on one of the enemies. Yes. Can this is called the sink shot. Yeah. It's my favorite feature of the game. Um, essentially, what you do with the uh, the sink shot is that you identify for your teammates the target that you would like them to take down mm -hmm. as you take down another one. Okay. And it can be triggered manually by the press of a button or by shooting. So when you start shooting, they shoot with you so that you have a synchronized shot and so that nobody uh, is aware of somebody falling down because he's also being killed. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a pretty cool feature. So it's indeed. pretty great when you want to play using the playstyle, they are so tactical. Very tactical, indeed. Mm -hmm. You feel so powerful when it works, you yeah. know, you're <laughs> like, yes! <laughs> it's amazing, yeah. And, uh, cool. Great feature. Awesome. Now so the stealth, you, you can good. stealth kill people with your, your weapons, with the suppressor, of course, equipped, so mm -hmm. you don't make noise with your, mm -hmm. your weapon. Uh, but you can also take him down with melee, so you can approach them and really take him down. Oh, he's been spotted. Okay. Oh. And the so lieutenant is trying to run away? Yeah. yeah, oh, okay. He got it. Them. Yeah, I think he was afraid he just surrendered. So when you grab an enemy like this, you can drag him around. And... Just let's get rid of this one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. So once you're done with that, you can interrogate. Uh, because so when you integrate, you learn more information about the mission? Yes. In this case, you're going to learn more information about another story mission. Mm -hmm. But with some other people that you interrogate like this, you can earn some uh, rebel uh, respect, so, so to speak. And you can also uh, learn about the location of um, skill points and other uh, resources that you want to be at. Okay. So we now have more information on the Mary's location. Yeah. So, so we know where to go now, but there is a beautiful landscape in front of us. Yeah. It would be a shame not to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so know that we have the location of Amaru. It may be heavily guarded. Yes. So maybe girl may need some help. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's switch to co-op now, maybe. Uh, so actually, Gail is going to join another game. No, I think the other people are joining oh. this game. Oh yeah, they are joining. Okay, here they are. All right. Because we have what we call the odd join yeah. in the game. 
the hot join being this feature that allows you to on the fly join a game of somebody else playing so that you can play co-op so with them. So as you can see, no loading time. And, and if Gail turn is back, there is three people joining. Yeah. Here they are. OK, so here we have our four players. Well done, people. <laughs> <laughs> well done, people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can give orders, but also communicate uh, if you don't have a mic or anything. All right. So should we go maybe take down the other Santa Blancas in the camp below? Yeah, there's a couple yeah. of uh, uh, cartel members uh, remaining in the uh, bottom of the camp. And once we're done with that and we've cleaned the camp, we can probably pick vehicles and head out to uh, Amaro's uh, location. OK, so All no right. stealth for this time to just get rid of the enemies. Okay, Getting out. Yeah, for the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, All right, so, so I think we can go now for the, the rest of the mission. One thing that's really cool when you play co-op is that you don't, you're not forced to drive the vehicles to go around. Somebody drives and then you can just be there as a passenger and shoot out the window, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look at the landscape, or also you can look at the tech map to give the direction. True. If you want to change mission. Yeah, these so are all things that you can right. do as a passenger. So they, yeah, they split up into different vehicles, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. nice shot, I like this view. You got a dirt bike, you got a passenger, and you got two drivers. The Jeeps are pretty cool. Yeah. Exactly um, so we have some time before reaching Amaru's position. Yeah. Maybe it's time to win some beta keys? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, so guys, be prepared. I think it's no time for you to write raffle in the chat okay, right so now. Go for it, guys. So go for it. Uh, our CM team will contact the winners. We have five keys for this time, I Yes, think. that's five keys. Five and we have winners. more at the end of the stream. All right. Go for it, guys. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> You gotta be careful in the game. And that's something that we didn't mention perhaps, but you're there to save the people of Bolivia. It's all the civilians around you. Mm. Those are people you wanna be careful about. You don't wanna hit people while you're driving or shoot at them. Yeah, that's not your mission to kill Bolivian people, for nope. sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think you're not allowed to kill too many of them. No, you eventually get a game over if you kill too many civilians. Yeah, you're a ghost. Oh, yeah. So you better be careful. That's it. Go go. So, and if for instance, I don't want to do this mission with rescuing Amaru, I want to go somewhere else. Can mm -hmm. I do it? Totally. It's up to you. I mean, you, you can move on to other side activities or discover other story missions if you want. Cool. So maybe in case you are joining us, uh, we are the Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands team and we are presenting you today uh, the close beta build so that you will be able to play tomorrow uh, at noon Paris time. You can already preload it if you have been selected. Uh, and, and we can't wait to see what you are going to do uh, because we want really you to share yeah. the game and share your feedback with yeah. us. Yeah. Please share your creation and everything you produce about the game using the hashtag GhostRecon on Twitter so that we can give you a nice retweet if what you've created is quite good. Yes. Or more if it's <laughs> even it's yeah. super great. Uh, so it seems that our team is approaching the new location. Yeah. I got one narco. They're yes. getting into position. And as you were saying, uh, Alno, it's heavily guarded. <laughs> so uh, maybe the stealth approach won't be so easy because if an enemy sees one of his partners fall down, he's going to alert the rest of mm. the people that are mm. going to be then really careful about So uh, they can call reinforcement and you have more pickups, more enemies? Yes. It becomes even more difficult. We see here one of the vehicles that we've talked about, the air vehicle helicopter. Now oh, we are doing some recon. Yes. So there are some enemies outside of the, the range. Yes. Eyes on a third. Seems like Amaru is inside the range. Mm -hmm. The yellow dot. It's the objective, yeah. Your HPT. We're lucky. <laughs> there is quite a beautiful sunshine today. But I think I know that in the game there is a... Yes, there's a day-night cycle. But there's also a weather system that, you Yo, know, it could be raining, it could be stormy, it could be middle of the night. And all of these aspects affect the ability of the enemies to perceive you. Mm. So this is all things that you might want to play with depending on the mission you're going to be doing. Okay, so it seemed that they went 
full guns out. Hey, let's do this. <laughs> if they want to, yeah, yeah no problem. You know, they're good enough. <laughs> well, they're, they're badass players, so I think it uh, won't cause a problem. Well, yeah, they I think they already cleaned up the, the, the camp. Yeah. Wow, that <laughs> was quick, quite guys. Fast. Guys, you're, you're too good, we can't yeah. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the time to comment anything. That's it, we're <laughs> supposed to take 10 minutes here. Yeah, so here is Amaru. Yes. He seems in a pretty bad shape. Indeed, yeah. Uh, it seems that some of the player, player 4 found something. Yes, across the game are spread, uh, I mean, uh, the whole uh, map. Th the you have uh, weapon and weapon parts, and you also have skill points that uh, you might want to try to locate mm. and, and pick up. So now we're seeing the gunsmith. That's it, we're back to the gunsmith here, where you can take the elements that you've collected and equip them on your weapon. Right now we've collected a scope, uh, which will you know, be a nice variation from your iron sights uh, to help you aim. Mm. So is there a lot I can do in the gunsmith? Is it really that powerful? Yes, the guns, well you have over 50 weapons that you can get during the game and then customize with multiple parts that are found all across the game so it gives you again millions of combinations possible so parts but also paints yes okay mm -hmm. cosmetics cool and, and uh tools. i think we may have uh, earned some experience point during the mission i don't know if we can see the uh yes yeah, yeah we, we level two actually. yeah <laughs> perfect time <laughs> inspired <laughs> Uh, the leveling system, maybe we want to talk a little bit about that. Um, so you got a skill tree in the game uh, that allows you to customize different uh, parts of your game. Sometimes it's tools that you're using, but sometimes it's also um, uh, physical or uh, team aspects of the game. Um, and those, uh, those skills are unlockable as you go along collecting skills, sometimes it's going to be skills that are given you when you're completing a mission, but sometimes it's going to be something that you pick up along the game. Um, but the leveling itself is based upon all the actions that you're doing, either completing a mission or um, shooting, killing uh, enemies or marking them. Uh, anything you're doing and the, uh, and the accuracy with which you're doing it is going to... Uh, so every playstyle is rewarded? Yes. Whatever you do, you can earn XP points. Yes. And unlock amazing stuff for your drone, for your. Yeah. So it's going to allow you to unlock different things in your skill tree. That's pretty cool. Um, there's Hi. also the resources that you probably saw that are part of the uh, unlocking system. Okay. So it seems that the night is falling down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hop on the uh, helicopter. Amara was probably uh, in a hurry to get home, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So. I think we are getting close to the end of this demo. Yeah. Well, just a reminder, guys, if you're joining us just right now, well, you maybe missed a bit part of the stream. <laughs> 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 but yeah, if this is the, the closed beta live stream for Tom Francis Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, the closed beta is starting so tomorrow at noon Paris time. Um, if you already have your beta key, uh, you can already start preloading the game. Uh, so that you can play uh, right when it starts tomorrow at noon. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, yeah. well. <laughs> it seems that the we're just is yeah. Getting quite I just want to cloudy. stay a look at the game, but yeah. Maybe we can move on to the Q and A session now. Yeah. Why not? Um, so we could ask some questions. Actually, so we have a list of questions uh, from the stream. Thank you, Carrie, Karen, Zizana. Um, 